Okay, hello everybody and welcome to your 21st SFML tutorial. So, in this tutorial we're going to be learning about uh, doing using sound. Uh, so, in SFML there's a difference between using sound and music. So, sound is generally used for sound effects and music is mainly used for background music or something like that. So, uh, mainly for sounds, there'll be like larger files, like WAV files, whatever, and non compressed files. And uh, general uh, music files will normally be like MP3, AUG files, uh, MIDI files, etc. etc. So, first of all, what we want to do is we, we need to link. We need to link uh, our project to. Uh, so we need to link our project so that we can include audio in our programs. So how are we going to do this? So what we have to do is we have to go to tools. Well, in using code blocks, you have to go to settings, sorry, and go to compiler debugger. And when this window shows up, what we have to do is go to linker settings. And above graphics, we do the same thing, but we put dash audio and we click OK. So, uh, if you're using Visual Studio or something like that, you'd go to Project, then Project Settings, and then you would uh, you you would go down to Linker, then go to Input, and then input the SFML dash audio. So, uh, yeah, so you need to link audio, or therefore you run into errors. Also, besides linking it, you also have to include in your program, including SFML slash audio dot HPP. So once we've got all that stuff set up, now we want to go to our collision code. So we're basically going to play a sound effect whenever our player collides with the object. So I've added another thing in the parameter called SF uh, sound, and I put an ampersand uh, there, I put, and to put collision, because we're going to be playing the collision sound, which means changing the state, so we have to put an ampersand there. So, uh... Basically, if we collide, we're going to put collision.play so that it will play our sound effect. Now, sounds are much like images and sprites. We have a sound buffer and we have a sound. So just like an image and a sprite, you'd have to first load the image into the image uh, for, into the image class. And then, therefore, you would put set image and create the image into a sprite. The same thing with sounds. So what we would do is we do we create a sound buffer using SF colon colon sound buffer and we name it what whatever we want to name it, and we would create a sound using SF sound and I named my sound collision. Then the same way we load uh, images and stuff, we put uh, I'll put if buffer dot load from file and I'm loading the file name collision dot wave. You can load any sound file you want and uh then i say so if they load the file then we do collision dot set buffer and then we set the sound buffer that we loaded where we loaded the file for into so it's, a, it's the same way as loading images and sprites it's the same thing just different wording instead of set image we put set buffer and uh so yeah once we got that down then in our collision code we just put collision in the parameters since that's our sound and then when we collide with uh, the player or when we collide with the object we should hear a sound effect so to run this program just so you guys see what I, I mean uh, here here it goes so I just gotta compile it okay so I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear the sound effect hopefully you will be able to hear it so if the player touches the enemy there you hear a sound effect and every single time the player touches the uh, object or the enemy then you will hear that sound effect so that is it for this tutorial i uh, hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching bye